In this blinking tutorial, we're going to review how to manually remove or add rhinestones. Now, first of all, why would you need to manually remove or add a rhinestone? Well, if we go here and select a little bit more intricate version of a clip art, I mean, right now we'll just go into fills and we'll select, let's say, as far as a clip art version, um, simple symbol like a heart. Well, if we take a look at this heart, as we drop this in, we have some pretty intricate lines here. Now let's go ahead and fill this with rhinestones. First of all, we'll sit it, fit it to our page size, and then we'll apply some rhinestones. Select our element, we will go with a simple S10, your most popular rhinestone size, and then fill the rhinestone design. Now, right now the way the line, rhinestones are laid out is they're fairly close together. If we want to actually cut this design, let's take a look at it. And right here, the rhinestones are not congruent because it's not enough space to actually lay them. So right now, we actually cannot. If we added more rhinestones, if we decreased the this, this spacing in the rhinestones, it's actually going to continue to scrunch them together, and it's not actually going to spread them out evenly. So we actually have the ability to manually set these rhinestones. In order to do that, we're going to need to ungroup it. So first of all, we need to make sure that our design is highlighted or selected, and then go to Layout, and then Ungroup. This is going to allow us to grab each individual rhinestone and move it. So if we zoom in here using our zoom tool, present zoom, zoom into 200%, move the page up, we can actually take each one of these rhinestones and either by using our cursor arrow on our keyboard or by manually moving it around with our mouse, we can manually place these rhinestones. So what I would do probably with this design is take these rhinestones and maybe space them out a little bit more and then possibly add another rhinestone. So right now I'm going to use my copy tool, control C, and then paste it, control V, and now I actually have dropped another rhinestone. So if I wanted to add another rhinestone, say right here, and then space these out a little bit more evenly, I can do that or I can completely delete this rhinestone. So I can delete this particular rhinestone and then just go with a three rhinestone pattern. So we have complete control over our, these rhinestones. Now, if this was my design once again, I'd probably end up with something like this. So I would probably delete that bottom rhinestone there and then end up with a basic heart design. Now let's take a look at this as we zoom out compared to what we started out with originally. And this looks much more like a standard heart design. We'll move that one a little bit more. And make sure that we're congruent. And it's very easy to manually move these rhinestones. Now we can regroup this design by highlighting the entire design once again. So we'll take the whole design and highlight it. And then we'll go to layout and group. And that's going to group it all together. So once we're placed, it actually locks them in. Now if we wanted to unlock them, to make some more changes, we go to ungroup and then now move each individual rhinestone again, which this one needs to be moved a little bit. Now, we can also ma manually add or replace rhinestones. So to manually add or replace rhinestones, we're going to use our rhinestone drop tool, which is this tool right here. Once again, it's going to uh, ask us to actually choose a size, so we'll use an S10, and it's going to come up with a little target. And if you right, if you click your mouse with this target, it actually drops a rhinestone in place. So if I zoom here in here once again, you can see this will drop a rhinestone wherever I would like. So I can drop one there, there, there. I can custom create, you know, even go along my patterns here. You know, I can draw specific styles or shapes if I want to get creative. Now once these are dropped you can delete them simply choose your select tool highlight the ones you want to delete and then hit delete. So that's how to manually drop. Now to drop a rhinestone would be if you wanted to manually place rhinestones or continue to edit the design. You can either copy that or you can manually drop that. This is how you can create some more refined designs, especially when you're using higher detail clip art in order to make sure those rhinestones are properly placed accordingly for proper spacing.